are morning. We're halfway through this game, you guys. Halfway through it. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep going. How do I use this card, though? And let me go find a way to make more money. Show me that money. Oh, shoot. I didn't want to go to you. I don't want to buy things. I want to make money. Uh, shouldn't you be out there trying to romance a classmate or something? Anyway, welcome. I'm too poor for everything except for a bloody tampon. That's a dollar. Uh, I'm not gonna buy it. So, I wasted pretty much a day. Well, yeah, I wasted a day. You know what my favorite thing in the world is? People who buy my stuff. Be one or be gone. She said be gone, thought. Okay, so I wasted part of my day. But it's okay. It's whatever. But I lost a chance with Scott. Oh, no, I haven't because I can still hang out with him at lunch. Oh, but there's new people I haven't met. Like, I haven't met this vampire-looking chick. She looks like a Dracula. And this blue chick's eating all by herself. I kind of want to sit with her. Let me sit with the blue chick. You're just trying to enjoy a meal in peace when uh, when space untwists itself to reveal the interdimensional prince. What? Greetings, my love. Oh, it's a boy? I thought it was a chick. Hi, he's cute. We can't date him. What? He's good looking. And, he's, and he just said I was pretty. And he's holding a flower. Is that flower for me? Most glorious hero. Thank the squid star I found you. I have been confounded by the most fiendish riddle. A riddle that has vexed me for days. Nay, weeks. The riddle of how to change the ringtone on my new smartphone. This interface is most torturous than my palace labyrinth. For real, you grab the prince's phone, change his ringtone to butts, butts, butts. All about those butts by the booty bros. My hero, what seems difficult to me is trivial to you. And you even guess which ringtone I desired. A true all-time classic from the sixth dimension. There's only one way I can repay you. By bestowing upon you a superpower of your own. Really? I can do that. I'm the prince of another dimension. I can do all kinds of crazy things you don't know about. All kinds of crazy things besides use his phone, apparently. And he really only gives you two superpower options. Telepath and ass that won't quit. Oh my god, you know we gotta go, we gotta go for the ass that won't quit. Ah yes, the choice of a true gentle monster. With a wave of his magic wang. Wait, what? The prince... <laughs> The prince embrues your ass with boundless work ethic. What? With his wing? What? By day, your ass amazes your classmates and creepy teachers. Oh, I bet. By night, it does your homework for you. Oh! Okay! All that works makes your bun super tight. You gain four charm. Awesome. I needed that because I lost so much charm for dumb stuff. Over a time machine. Week four, evening. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, I think we're doing very good with Scott. I don't know how my stats work for all of this, but I seem like we're doing okay. Um, is she in there? Because I want to make money, so I don't want to be... Yeah, she's in there. Where do I... There has to be someplace else I can make money. No. Let's go to class. I have not been to class. Um, but I don't... But I need to work on what? Bonus is, is bad again. Maybe we should go back to the bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom again. Okay, so we have no respect, but you um don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of eternity. So you do some graffiti on the wall. No way. The graffiti says, I am bold as fuck, and you know what it turns out. The wall is a magical wall that grants witches. That grants wishes. What a wall. A deep voice resounds from within the wall and says, well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold and then gain, and then you gain two boldness. Awesome. I needed that. Oh boy, that's an opinionated wall. Anyway, lucky you. I am lucky, actually. <laughs> um, you're practicing your very best monster match when you hear the sounds of an argument. Please be Scott. Which is so strange in these... Uh, uh, sacred hallowed halls of 
education. L laugh out loud. LOL, JK. Can you imagine? <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> it is Scott and Vera. Hey. Hooray! They made me their king, and they deserve the bestest, most wonderful king they ever was. Okay, so the furries did make him a king, and he's very still excited about this. Cool. And I'm going to work as hard as I can to be that king, no matter what it takes. Scott, you realize they're not cute little baby animals in need of a king, right? They're furries. I know they're furry, Vera. I'm the one who told you that. No, Scott, they're furries. It's a kink. Yes, Vera, there are many kinks in my plan. That's why I need to work them out to be the best ruler. Forget it. Yeah, seriously. Excuse me, did you say you need help being a good ruler? I know all about that. Being a king is so easy, as Daddy always says. Only live peasants can stage a rebellion. Oh! Oh! Okay. Forgot, she's the genocide one. Oh, Miranda, I'm not really sure. Fear is your most important weapon. Your second most important weapon is actual weapons. Torture soup spoons, razor teacups, a knife on fire, you know, the usual. Oh yeah, cause I have tons of razor teacups in my house. And torture soup spoons. How could you live without torture soup spoon? I don't know, Miranda. I appreciate the advice, but I don't think that's the kind of king I want to be. Nonsense. I'll go get you the butter knife uh, shrinking right now. What? It seems so unnecessary. There must be a better kind of way to rule. Right, Lucky? I would hope so. I want to have a happy time under Scott the First. They've been so, so nice to me. They've written me beautiful songs, which are about my adventures, but most of them are, are sort of things I have not done. And they've made amazing drawings of me, which are very, very generous in their proportions. I just think they deserve the best leader. We could go with the taxes one, but then he would be giving them money. Oh, I bet you if we did that, we would get some money because the flag doesn't help us. So let's see that if he pays them taxes, he'll want to consider us one of his furry people and then pay us taxes and then we can get some money too. So let's try normal rulers, make their subjects pay taxes, but what if pay taxes to them? So not wealthy, damn, he don't, shoot, I really thought we, he was dumb enough to not realize. Paying taxes to my furries, sure, that makes perfect sense. If our president paid us uh, tax for leading us, I would definitely love that president. Unfortunately, you both are super poor, so you spend some time creating what you call Scott Super Fun Furry Dollars. Scott leaves all excited with some of your money. What? As your elders always say, any problem can be solved by giving money to strangers. Later, as you stumble upon Scott again, he seems not so happy. There you are, Lucky. Your plan went terribly. Uh, we created so many su Scott Super Fun Furry dollars that the currency got super devalued. That led to lots of uncertainty about the kingdom's economic environment causing demotivation for foreign investments. What? When did he get smart? With the economy struggling that much, stress peaked and the furries once joyful creatures had stopped creating their beautiful and often not suitable for work art. And it turns out that the beautiful and often not su suitable for work art was the nation's strongest export. Now we're failing, now we're falling into debt and leading economics um, foretell at least five years of recession and a negative political climate. Damn the day we create those silly super, Scott super fun furry dollars. It was the demise of my kingdom. I should have never trusted a high schooler in the matters of national politics and economics. I was a fool. When did he learn about economics? He was trying to get, like, snakes to eat mice a few minutes ago. This is crazy. Scott leaves sad, and with the burden of rescuing the um, economy of a country, wait, is, is it really a country at just 21 years old, 
doing that to a friend and potential lover is definitely not cool. You lose two smarts and one fun. Shit. Need to bring back up the fun and the money then. Week five, morning. Let's go. Okay, so we need the monies, right? We need monies and we need the fun. So let's go back here because it's fun outdoors. Okay, recess, there's a rave, um, and you're talking to Juan, the small, magical Latino cat, when he tells you that you won't ever be as fun as Bob the Scary Clown. You accept the challenge, you go straight to Bob, stab him several times, open his bleeding chest, and eat some of his guts in order to consume his fun. Really? So, <laughs> do you think that's how this works, Whip? It is. You gain two fun from poor Bob, so we kill Bob. At least it wasn't Bob the Cannibal. You find Scott sadly holding an open bottle of Power Sludge, the food-like elixir that gets you ripped. Bro, this protein shake is a bottle in a bottle is gross. Well, at least you're not doing cocaine anymore. Um, I don't even know what <laughs> what most of these ingredients are. Flabble Gravin, Abercrombie, Kale, Kale, Kale is, Kale's a vegetable, okay. <laughs> Plus it tastes like butt, not a stranger's butt, which is exciting to smell, but a gross nasty butt from the butt swamp. Okay, Scott. I can't just toss it though, I, I already opened it and Coach is always saying I gotta finish what I start. Bro, help me find something to mix into this pow um, power drink uh, that'll make me buff and taste good. Make the drink taste good, I mean. I don't need to taste good. I think I taste fine. Oh, God, Scott. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the genie sweat. So try this vial of genie sweat. I stole it from a genie. Oh, not bold. Okay, dang. We should have tried the grape steroids. Oh, well. Psh, bro. I don't know how to say this, but the genie you stole the sweat from, he's floating right behind you. You turn around to find a very pissed off genie staring you down. It turns out genies are very attached to their sweat. The genie promises to grant you any wish you want as long as you wish is getting your ass kicked by a genie. You lose two fun and one bonus. Dang, we couldn't afford to lose much more, much more fun and boldness. Okay. Week 5 noon Okay, so let's see who we should sit with Um, Ooh, the vampire girl I, I want to I've talked to this girl before Like in a different one But I think we're gonna go with the vampire girl Vampire girl You approach your chosen table To find um already taken up By the coven they're huddled around some kind of glowing artifact. Oh, okay. Oh, she a thick vampire. Okay. See, this is my crew. Like, if I could really pick who I wanted to be, this would probably be my crew, the vampire chicks. She's pink. She looks like a like a, a thick Draculaura, but Draculaura has, like, black and pink hair, but whatever. Um, But we only get one wish, not three. It's so important for all of us to you. For all of us to agree before we release the genie. Hope, you already expressed your wish for a secret hideout with a mini fridge and a foosball table. Faith has argued just as fervently for world peace. We must save the world. <laughs> but as the leader, I think the most sensible option is a mystic sword that will instantly slay this season's big bad. And... Hope and Faith immediately eject to Joy, calling herself the leader, and the three soon devolve into a shouting match. Amidst the commotion, you can't help but notice that the wishing lamp is totally unguarded. Without really thinking about it, as if you ever do, you rub the lamp, re release the genie, and wish for... I want a bag full of quarters because I want money. Wish granted... Uh, booms the genie and you feel the reassuring weight of a bag of quarters in your lap Seriously, you could wish for anything and you wish for a bag of quarters 
what did you need to do laundry do you really like arcades playing to hit somebody over the head nope you just really like quarters so you're saying we braved the fire legs of lower wrath and two-headed snakes serpentine and the accounts of babylon just so you could have a bag of quarters well you should have been watching your shit bitch sorry basically and the and boy, was it worth it for your perspective? These quarters have got to be worth at least four money. Yay, I got four dollars in monster money. Now I'm feeling better about my stats. Would like to bring back up my folder, my fun, my boldness, and my smarts now. Money can wait. I can buy something if I want to, though. Let's go. Okay, so I haven't been to class in a little bit. So let's try to become smarter. That day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain two smarts. Today in monster math, it's Scott's turn to stand at the board and solve the equations. You think he would have prepared for this, but as he passes your seat, he whispers, Bro, help me out, bro. I spent all week doing sit-ups, and I didn't study at all. Just signal me the right answer somehow, please. I'll eat your homework for you next time you need an excuse. Before you can answer, Scott's up at the board, looking awkwardly at, looking awkward as hell with the chalk in his hand. What's your plan? Write the correct answer somewhere no one would, would suspect your butt. I'm, I'm kind of going to go with that because he sniffs butts for, like, fun. Plus, I got the, um that prince to give me a super booty. So, yeah. My butt. Not bold. What's more bold than my butt? Why do I keep losing boldness? Um, You've been waiting all day for opportunity to show your ass to the world. See? That's what I'm saying. That's bold. You hastily scribble some equations on your butt, climb up on your desk, and drop trowel. What? What does that say? I'm sorry, bro, but I'm having a hard time focusing on your handwriting. Could you maybe write the answers a, on a less gross butt? Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Our crush thinks our butt is gross. But we have a super butt. It's even super smart because it does homework. Suddenly, everyone in the class is critiquing your gross butt and your math. This class is a real pain in the butt. You lose two fun and one charm. Okay, you know what? I had some charm to lose. Definitely didn't have any fun to lose, though. This is bad. I need to go and be more fun now. So now it's morning. Great. Let's go. Uh, definitely not going to class. Um, I need to go party so I can be fun. Shoot, why are you at the store? Dang it. Ah, uh, you missed me and my shit, huh? Worry no, worry no more. All this shit can be yours if you have the money. Not me, though. Okay. Can something here give me fun? Remember, those used to be cool. Now they aren't, but they're so ridiculous that they're still fun in their own twist way. I need fun, so I'll take it. Too poor for the cocaine. Cocaine would have made me fun for sure. I'll take the glasses. Oh, did that give me fun? Did that give me a little fun? That gave me 10 fun. Oh my goodness, I could have been using my money all this time to buy me stats. So, is that why my charm is up? Because of the hype card? Can I use them still? I don't know, but I did that. What? A, that was awesome though. Week six, noon. Let's go. Okay, so definitely want to hang out with people I haven't hung out with before or I have not hung out with in a long time. Don't want to hang out with Damien. I don't like Damien. Screw Damien. I'd rather sit with Coach. He might give me some horsey pills again. You're desperately trying to enjoy your meal in peace, but Coach insisting on striking up a conversation. Hi, my beloved student. <laughs> hey there, bud. What you drinking? What? Milk? That's it? That's hardly a drink at all. <laughs> Everybody knows the drink is is the backbone of a balanced lunch i mean i guess and what would be and what would we be without backbones i don't know my doctor yells at me whenever i try to find out <laughs> but enough about me let's get you juiced you can have um sports sauce or muscle drink which will it be 
Whiskey? Oh, I kind of want whiskey. Whiskey. Hmm. I don't remember you offering you whiskey. Oh, that's an achievement. Outcast. Unlocked. Okay. I don't remember offering you whiskey, but you chose it, so I must have offered it to you. Otherwise, why would you have chosen Youth it? Youth is a gift. <laughs> Youth is a gift. Oh, well, guess I just got to go out and buy you a case of whiskey. Coach marches off to l illegally purchase a whole bunch of... Um, of alcohol on your behalf when all your classmates realize they can just they can get coach to buy booze just by asking you become the coolest kid in school and you gain plus four fun awesome because i needed that fun and i lost my chance to become more fun because i clicked on the wrong chick but i also need now boldness so i need to work on boldness still apparently i don't know how to make bold choices i guess i'm not a bold person even in real life so this game is like, you're not bold. Oh my God, one more event and then prom, you guys. Let's go. So this is it, you guys. We gotta make it count. I don't know where Scott is, but I think we've done enough impressive things to talk to him. So I'm just gonna try and fix my boldness um, by hanging out in the bathroom. And I'll try my best to be bold. Yep, we're in the bathroom. Um, the day you visit the bathroom to take a number two. Don't worry, there won't be any illustration of that specific moment. Thing is, you make one of the boldest decisions in your life. You don't put paper on the toilet before using it. You look... <laughs> oh, look at that. Wait, wait, what? Okay, look at you and your... And your cra look at you, you crazy bastard. You gain two boldness, which is good. And probably plus one... Staff co staff a local with a slight chance of plus one STD. That's that's ugh. At least we got boldness. Now we're just bad with money, but we have good stats for everything else. Scott strolls by, um, happily munching on something. Liam gasps at him, appalled. I mean, at least Scott's coming by. Like, this is our last chance to talk to him before the prom. Hopefully, we don't ruin things. We always tend to pick the wrong things when it comes to boldness. What on earth are you eating, Scott? <laughs> this delicious new flavor of fang Fangle's potato chip. Maximum Ultimate Eats. Double Barbecue Massacre. That sounds good. I want some chips. Really? Because it looks like a raw severed goat head inside of a cardboard tube. Oh, yeah, I guess it does. Could've sworn it was a could sworn it was potato chips. Still tasty, though. Tasty. Tasty. Does wanted environmental destruction sound tasty to you? I don't know. Is that kind of jerky? <sighs> no, Scott. Don't you realize that in order to harvest these goat heads, fangles and co decapitate millions of innocent goats every year but what do they do with the bodies of the goats nothing it's a horrendous wasteful practice oh no all those poor headless goat bodies running around and bumping into things we need to stop them oh my god they're not running around scott they're dead they're all dead <laughs> he said they're running around wait really i was trying to make you feel guilty i didn't actually have a plan of action but if someone were to suggest one Write an extremely mean blog post. Assemble an army of vengeful undead goat torsos. I mean, I feel like I'm going to pick the wrong thing. So I'm just going to go with the goat torsos. See, not so smart. I lost the smartness because of it. Great. Ah, yes. Necromancy. The ultimate tour in the, in the um, protester's arsenal. You dig out your abominations against nature 101 textbook and get to work. But soon, why are all the goats running into walls and trees and, and each other? Because they don't have heads, Scott, or eyes. Somehow our friend here didn't take that into account. Why did you let her do it if you knew it wasn't going to work? For the lols, Scott. For the lols. Yeah, I can see that. The lols are at your expense. Literally, Fangle sues you. For unlicensed necromancy, you lose two money, which I didn't have money to begin with, well, except for one dollar and one smarts. Okay, so I lost one smarts. That's not so bad. At least I didn't lose any more boldness. 
and I lost two money, so now I have one negative money. So even if I was to somehow get money, I'd, it don't, wouldn't matter. I mean, t today's the last day before prom, so nothing matters anymore. The monster prom. Who will you ask to prom? Of course I'm going to ask Scott, because he's the one I picked from the very, very beginning. <laughs> ask Scott to the prom? Yes. Oh, that's a cute. Let me. Oh, my God. I got to get a picture of that. That's so cute. Let me get a picture of me asking Scott to the prom. Yay. Oh, is that my heart? You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to Monster Prom with you. Okay, so I avoided Damien successfully throughout this whole gameplay because I don't like Damien. He was such a jerk to me when I played the first time around. But I think it was like that um, the chick with like the hood. I didn't get to talk to her. That's unfortunate because I did like her character. But whatever. Uh, so he goes to prom to prom with you. Huh? Prom? I don't know. Wait, what? You gonna turn me down now? You're nice and all, but I have a great sense of smell. And somehow this smells like a bad idea. So I should pass, bro. Sorry. You knew you should have taken a shower before asking Scott. Uh, bro. Oh, epic loser achievement. Clearly this was too much for you. He turned me down? For real, for real? So, so I'm not going to prom. You abandoned high school and spent the rest of your life designing a robot for sex purposes. Unfortunately, as soon as your robot lover got true AI, it rejected you. <gasps> broke. Oh, that's an achievement. I ended the game broke. Okay, I mean, I guess. Here are my stats. Total run. One out of 22 endings. And I, I, I think I had two endings so far, which I didn't go to the prom. Lucky, most likely to devour her own children to survive. Wow, okay. Scott's quote. Life is like sports. Both are things, and they have stuff in common. That, that makes me kind of sad. Like, I thought the first time that I didn't get to go to prom was kind of just like a fluke. But now, this is the second time I've played this game, and I did not get to go to prom. You know, for some dumb reason. Like, I can't believe he turned me down when we were, like, actively pursuing him and being, like, super nice to his stupid, stupid self. Like, this whole time, I mean, I know we messed up a few times, but I felt like we were getting in good enough that he would have actually taken us to prom. And then he said, we smell. Okay, so I guess that's the end of the game, you guys. We didn't get to go to prom. I don't I don't think you ever get to go to prom. I have to find someone with an ending who goes to prom. That was crazy. Okay, so, yay, well, there's a high school prom. I, I, I didn't get to go, though, so I don't know how we're, we're taking a prom picture. There's a, is that thumb? So, I still haven't met some of these people. Like, I haven't, like, well, you get to play at these people. So, I guess you don't meet them. We didn't meet this guy in this round. We never met, I never met this chick. But I, I played with him last time. I met him. At, he ended up trying to beat me up at prom. Um, because, you know, I tried to take Liam. And he was mad. Didn't meet her yet. Um, but anyway, you guys. Um, those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After Monster Prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendships, and learning who we were and who we could be. And you know what? As it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Liam and Scott co-wrote a cheesy and weird fanfic of two lives that became unexpectedly popular to the point that it turned to a well-known novel of its own. Wait a minute, did it become Twilight? Did, did two lights become twilight that would be amazing half of the characters are shirt are shirtless for all the right reasons miranda used her vast um surf knowledge to get a job at handpicking the best surfs for other people okay unsurprisingly she ended up leaving her surfs to do the work mm -hmm, i'm sure Damien became an interior designer specialized in torture machines. Ah. Months later, Vogue magazine called his products the re refined marriage between macabre and chic. Okay. 
During those three weeks, Monster Prime seemed bigger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for Monster Prime might have ended then, but there were lots of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Okay, I, I guess that's it, you guys. That was that was Monster Prom. I didn't get to go to prom. I guess these are all the people who... Oh, is that me giving him a teddy bear at a carnival? That's cute. <laughs> that was cute. Um, Is that Slenderman over there? Oh, my goodness. There's so many people. Oh, my gosh. Is that is that like a special knife? Oh, is this like her like her killing collection of utensils? Okay, well, as I said, you guys, that that was the monster prom. I'm so bummed that we didn't get to go to prom. I thought I was doing everything I could to give with Scott. I guess it wasn't enough. And there's no music in this game because of copyright, so that's why you're not hearing anything other than probably music. I will put in myself. <laughs> All these little, I wonder if these are things that, like, events that you could actually get in-game. I'm just curious. Because I, I might play this game by myself in my own time. But, like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a fun game. If you guys want to get it, the game is on Steam. So you can get it and you can play for yourselves. Um, Let me know what kind of endings you guys get. Or if you guys have played this already, let me know what kind of um, endings have you guys gotten. Has anybody actually gone to prom? Because I would like to go to prom. <laughs> Thanks for playing Monster Prom.